for Greece to uh, organize strong consumer movements. Uh, I would like to invite Mar Marcello Macario from Italy to tell us five minutes about the situation in Italy and for me the chance to give my friend a hand. Hello to everyone. Uh, technology will help me, I hope. Uh, I'm very, very happy to be here. I was in Thessaloniki the first time in 1998 for an European project. Uh, and uh, a long time has passed. At that time, I presumed to be a psychiatrist. Now, I, I don't really know who I am, but this is a problem of mine. The Italian Hearing Voices Network is like an adolescent. is a, a son of the National Health Service, but he struggles for autonomy. The network was officially established only, excuse me, in, uh, 12, uh, in 2012, two years ago, but began to be active about 10 years before. At that time, a few pilot experiences started in Prato, near Florence, with uh, Pino Pini and Donatella Micinesi, in Trieste, and near Turin. But they remained uh, isolated for many years. Now there are about uh, 30 self-help groups. Most of them are facilitated by professional, professionals of the National Health Service, and only three or four were set up by association of users. I think that in Italy, the mental health care system has a feature that is both an opportunity and a problem. Because we are the country, or we, we, we presumed we are the country that closed the psychiatric hospitals with the so-called Basaglia law, the professionals, us, tend to think that we have done the job. And so they don't really listen to the voice uh, of the patients, or we should better say, the experts by experience. In other words, uh, we pretend to, to know what is good for the patient, rather than asking him or her. We are aware that this could also happen in the Hearing Voices Network that was promoted by some professionals, but fortunately, we had from the beginning an active participation by many experts by experience, and also by researchers from institutions, National Research Council and University. In the board of the Italian Hearing Voices Network, there are at the moment two experts by experience, a family member, a social worker, a psychologist, a sociologist, and a psychiatry, myself. The Italian Hearing Voices Network is interested in changing the system from the inside, but also in promoting alternative approaches outside of the national health system. We, are, uh, we have become really aware that the system is really, really hard-headed, uh, or I should use different words. Uh, there are two issues we are more focused on at the moment. The first uh, remained the development of uh, self-help groups both inside and especially outside the, the National Health Service. We have translated uh, and published books about voices in, to help this process. Uh, Ron Coleman's book uh, and also Living with Voices, the book with the 50 stories of recovery and some other books. We organize seminars, workshops, wherever there is someone interested, from Sicily to the north. And we su support the childhood of the newborn groups. The second issue is uh, a difficult one, I think, is the, the wise use of psychotropic drugs. I use some words taken from a beautiful book of John Watkins. Last year, we were able to find a publisher for the Italian version of Robert Whittaker's Anatomy of an Epidemic. And we have organized conferences with uh, Robert in Genoa, Rome, two times, in Turin, in Modena, and in Bolzano. 
these meetings were addressed not only to the psychiatrists, but also to the others. I mean, the patients, family members, friends, GPs, researchers, students, uh, in other words, to the citizens. We strongly believe that the time for an open debate, uh, which will include every stakeholder on an equal basis, has come, is now. Our next step in uh, next year will be a consensus conference about the strategies for reducing and getting off psychotropic drugs. And we hope that InterVoice and other national hearing voices networks are interested in getting involved. But I will tell you more about this issue tomorrow in the afternoon. Thank you very much.